Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with you this morning. And we've got Don Catalano here from Mathnasium. Just for my own edification, got to ask you, what's a logarithm? A logarithm is basically just a different way to write exponents so that you can apply various rules to Okay. The logarithm. I, I just remember us having logarithm cards, had no idea what they were, got, kind of somehow fumbled my way through that one. <laughs> and just have always kind of wondered. Because algorithm now is a word we say all the time with, with social media and so forth. Right. Yeah. And I mean, you know, algorithms in math are just those steps that you use to solve a problem. The way you so, do something. Right. Yeah. And like with multiplication, and they talk about, you know, why can't they just use the traditional algorithm? Well, that is the goal but if you're just memorizing steps you're not understanding the concept yeah so you got to start where there's concept first and interesting that whoever's behind it prefers to say algorithm rather than steps you know (laughs) instead of you know facebook changed their steps today we always are saying facebook changed their (laughs) algorithm again and yeah had to ask all right summer's coming and you have a special summer program how in the world do you talk kids who are on summer break from school into coming in and doing math. You must make it awfully fun. Well, we do. We, I mean, we offer some game time within our mm-hmm. summer program. But basically, kids like coming to Mathnasium. Um, they, they know that while they're there that they're learning and they're getting it done and it improves their confidence and they like it. Um, but during the summer program, because we don't have homework time, we do incorporate some logic games and math games into our summer program curriculum so it's not just like games that aren't you know going with the subject matter Mm -hmm. (laughs) they're learning but they may not know that they're learning so it makes it kind of fun um and we do we just keep going right through june july and august with our regular program curriculum so each student is still working on their learning plan um students that are just coming in for the summer can work towards getting ready for the next school year or filling in gaps or just avoiding that whole summer slide. Mm -hmm. Um, We are running a summer promo and through May 18th, if you sign up for our summer program, you get an early bird special 10% discount for the entire summer. Great. So you have about four days to get in on that. So through May 18th, Mm -hmm. early bird special. Okay. And then people can reach you how, Dawn? The phone number is 330-492-6284. Let's give that one more time, please. 330-492-6284. And do you have a website? And the website is Belden Village at mathnasium.com. That's my email. I do that every time. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And the website is mathnasium.com slash Belden Village. Got it. Mathnasium. And now we also know how to email you. Right. Mathnasium.com slash Belden. Belden Village. Spelled out? Yep. Got it. All right. Or call 330-492-6284. Pardon me. Um, what can we look forward to in the summer? What what kinds of things do you do in the summer? Is it pretty much the same curriculum as the rest it of the is. year? It is. We are still working on the same curriculum because mm-hmm. students still need to be working at their own level, at their own pace. Um, but like I said, we incorporate some game time into each session that they come in Um, even when the high schoolers don't want to play games we still have um, like little mind exercises for them to do to start their session out so um, we do that and and the kids really enjoy it they get to play games with each other and so that kind of breaks up a little bit of the you know what they were doing all school years so and we can do that because they don't have homework to take up that extra time right I had an aunt that lived to be 103 years old and she was sharp as a tack the entire her entire lifetime and she attributed that to the fact that she had been the math teacher at Maslin High School for the majority of her adult life she that she said it was all the math it really kept my brain focused and sharp is there something to that Oh, sure. Yeah. And even with people that have some sort of dementia, whether it be Alzheimer's or something else, they always say that, like, if it runs in the family, that one way to avoid that is to do 
puzzles and keep your mind working doing crossword puzzle or doing Sudoku mm -hmm. or anything that's going to keep your brain functioning like that every day. So my idea would be to sit down and do a page full of algebra problems because that's what I like mm -hmm. to do. You enjoy a page <laughs> of algebra problems. Absolutely. <laughs> What kind? Let's try something right here, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but I think we're all ready to do some kind of brain exercise. What kind of a, a game would you have the high schoolers do to get them going to warm them up? There's a math game called 24, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of my favorite for them to use, and there's different variations of it. But the idea is that there are cards and there are four numbers on the card, and you have to use those four numbers each one of them one time to get to the number 24. Oh, okay. So you're going to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to make those add up to 24. And then there's variations of the game that have fractions or variables or anything in there. So we are use those to get those kids warmed up and get their brains thinking. And something kind of fun you could do at home with the, just a deck of cards, probably, if you pull out all the right numbers. Sure, yeah. And some Okay. What what do you recommend for people to exercise their brains? Anything that's going to, you know, get you to enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you're just going to use, like, math to do it. But, you know, I play a lot of word games on my phone in that's my good spare too. time. So. Please tell me Candy Crush is good for you. I don't think so. Because <laughs> you're looking for patterns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how much brain exercise that's really giving you. Though. Really? Because it's taking but. a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> Devoted way more time to it than I'd like to admit. Something more like, you know, trivia or Tri okay. word crack. I play a lot of word crack. Uh -huh. um, words with friends is less, you don't have to be so speedy. You can think about what you're doing a little yes, bit Yes, sometimes it's weeks before um, I get back and to And there them. are, you know, math games out there if you like to keep your mind sharp that way and work on various um, I find that when there's math games that involve different operations, that like if I'm doing multiplication, multiplication, and then they throw a division that I will automatically multiply. And I'm hitting the number yes. before I even realize that they've changed the thing. The so symbol? That's not the best thing for me because my brain thinks or my fingers think faster than my brain or however mm -hmm. it is. Um, but any kinds of things, even to sit down and do like a daily crossword puzzle with an old a piece of paper and a pen. <laughs> so I think as we approach our advancing years, just anything that is different than sitting in front of a television set, but something right. that uses our mind. Exactly. We'll, we'll, and they're proving that that will help oh, yeah. stave off dementia or at least prevent it from advancing so quickly. Right. Good to know. Um, all right. Mathnasium, located in Belden Village. Where exactly are you in Belden Village? We are on Belden Village Street down near the intersection of Everhard Road, um, right across the street from the McDonald's there on the corner. Okay. Oh, well, then that's one way to get the kids interested as well. <laughs> Going to Mathnasium and then a quick stop at McDonald's afterwards. That sounds like a fun day. Um, what are your hours? Um, we are generally open at 2 and are open until 7.30 in the evening. Um, during the school year, we're open on Sundays. But during the summer, we're closed on the weekends. So Is it and we same have, hours in the summer? Yes. And we have varying hours on Fridays. Um, like right now, it's 3 to 6. And in the summer, it's going to be 12 to 4. Mm -hmm. So the Friday time is going to vary a little bit. But Monday through Thursday, 2 to 7.30 is basically what our hours are. I think anyone who gets to work with children <laughs> and help boost their self-confidence in any area, that's got to be pretty special work. Uh, without saying any names, are there some stories you could tell us about someone who you really got to see their their life changed by being involved with this? I mean, there are a lot of stories. Um, a couple that stick out to me <clears throat> was a young man who was homeschooled and absolutely hated math. Mm -hmm. And his mother brought him in for, we do a trial session ahead of time so that they can get comfortable before they have to come in and take a test. So he's doing the trial session and... His hour was up, and he left, and they went out the door, and then I sat down, and two seconds later, she was coming back in, and I thought, oh, no, what's wrong? And she comes inside, and she says, he doesn't want to leave. Wow. And she was just shocked because wow. he just hated math, and I was just like, this is fantastic. That's What does that mean to you, to have something like it's, that? It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why you 
bought the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what would be your goal? What would you see like uh, a few years down the road? What would you like to see Mathnasium become? Well, I kind of like it what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't really want it to be anything different. I want it to be a place where kids of all different varieties at all different levels can come in and and do their own thing and become successful and feel better about math. I don't want it to be a bad word, you know, so. Yes. Math is not a four-letter word. <laughs> well, it is, but... Mathematics is not a four-letter <laughs> Mathematics <word. laughs> is definitely not. Let's remind everyone, some people might just be joining us. You've got a special summer promotion at Mathematics. Let us know all the details. <laughs> at Mathnasium, we are having... Um, our summer program runs right through the summer. We don't stop. And if you sign up for a summer program by May 18th, you will receive an early bird special of 10% off your summer enrollment fees. That's awesome. And extra kind of fun things that you do in the summer are? We incorporate math and logic games into our curriculum for the summer. So, you know, the students, they're, they're still learning math, but they're doing it in a little bit more fun way. I think you've already alluded to this, but best part about your day is what? When you see a kid get something, when they're struggling with it, and then all of a sudden they get it, and they're like, oh, yeah, and they just take off with it. So. You probably got to see that as you were a science teacher as well, right? We just when yeah. something, when the light bulb goes on. Right. Yeah, then when, especially, you know, when you're doing experiments and things and, and they see the curriculum come alive in the lab and they're like, oh, wow, this is really cool. So, yeah, hearing a kid say, this is really cool yeah. about what you've been trying to teach when that's not, that wasn't their perception in the beginning. It's pretty special for sure. Let's remind everybody uh, your website and phone number, how to reach you. The website is mathnasium.com slash Belden Village. And there you will see all of our, th my email address, my phone number, the testimonials from students and mm -hmm. the various specials that we have going on. And the number is 330-492-6284. Or you can email me at buildandvillage at mathnasium.com. All right. Well, phone number again, 330-492-6284. You can email her at beldenvillage at mathnasium.com or just go to mathnasium.com slash beldenvillage. Dawn, why should everybody love math? Because math is not hard when you know how to do it. And we don't want people going through life thinking this is impossible. And it's not impossible. It's really easy once you know how to do it. It's Okay, well, I'm going to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> probably find myself wandering over there and coming through your doors at some point. Um, it's been delightful having you. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Again, that's Mathnasium, and you want to look up Dawn Catalano. Say hello to her. Give them a call, 330-492-6284. Go to mathnasium.com slash Belden Village. Thank you for all you do in our community. Thank you so much for having me.